What is going on YouTube, the assist man? I am coming back at you guys with another one of my stupendous product reviews and unboxings. And inside of this video, man, I wanna go ahead and unbox and show you guys something really, really cool I found that actually works pretty well for an Xbox One controller. So sit back, watch, and enjoy. <music> So if you're like me and you really, really like the feel of the Xbox One Elite controller, but you don't like the paddles, but you just like the trigger stops and the rubberized back grip, and you can't really afford the $150, well then there's a good product that I'm about to show you guys you can buy. Because you see, I have an Xbox One Elite controller right here. Now I actually don't like the paddles. I have this controller, I bought it for $150, and the only reason I actually bought this controller was to get the trigger stops on the back so I could use it, you know, in first person shooter and third person shooter games. It's really good for shooter games and lots of other games as well. And because I love the feel of the textured rubberized grip on the back. But just to get those two things, you have to spend $150 on this controller which is quite a lot of money for a controller. I mean, that's damn near, you can buy an Xbox One S console on sale right now during the Thanksgiving holiday season for $199. So you're pretty much paying almost as much for the console that comes with the controller for just this one controller. But, like I said, if you don't have an Xbox One Elite controller and you don't wanna spend the money on it and you don't really care about the paddles, like I do on the back, and you have a standard Xbox One controller. So this is the Xbox Elite controller, this is the Xbox One controller. If you have a standard Xbox One controller, there is actually a really, really good product. Now, I reviewed a product a couple years ago made by Scuff, and it was the trigger stop um, replaceable back pieces for the Xbox. Although those, those things were not bad, they sucked at the same exact time because I got the red ones and literally the color started fading off of the red about two to three months after I had them and they literally turned pink. They looked disgusting and the dye used to come off on my hands when you were, you know, sweating, playing games and playing on your console. So I took them off the controller really, really quickly. I didn't want them at all. And... I've pretty much just been using the Xbox regular controller and the Xbox Elite controller when I'm like playing games, you know, that I want to use trigger stops for. But most of the time, I seem to use this controller all the time now because I just really love the rubberized grip. But the only downside to this controller really is its price. And if you ever compare the Xbox One Elite controller to a regular Xbox One controller, it is a lot more heavier. I mean, this thing probably weighs close to two to three times as much as the regular one does. This is a very, very heavy controller. This one, not so heavy. It's really light and agile in your hands. But I was at the store the other day and I seen this right here. It's made by a company called Bionic and it's called the Quick Shot. And what these are is it it is adjustable trigger locks, repa replaceable back plates for the Xbox One controller. Kind of like the scuff ones, but I think these ones are gonna work a lot better. And they're also a lot cheaper. You can pick these up on Amazon or at Best Buy. I'll have a link in the description and as a top pin comment to these on Amazon for around $15. That's extremely cheap. So basically, this is the front of the box right here. It's called, like I said, they're called the Quick Shot by Bionic, and this is the back of the box right here. It says it's an adjustable trigger lock, custom grip system with two position trigger lock adjustment, and then has like a little, you know, magnetic latch on the front of it here, so it opens up and closes, and when you open it up, <clears throat> you could see them right there. I mean, for $15, the box and the presentation of this alone is well worth it. I honestly think they did a great job on the presentation and everything of this box. And you could see that the actual replaceable back straps here, not only do they have the trigger lock on them, but they also have the gray rubberized texture, just like the Xbox One Elite controller. 
and these don't take that long to install and I'm going to show you guys how to install them inside of this video as well. So first thing we need to do is we need to open them up so let's get the knife, cut the piece of tape, put it back and then open them up. And when you open them up, it's pretty much, you get a little warranty card thing, uh, instruction manual inside the box. I already know how to do this, at least from my last one. So if you needed the instruction manual, you could. And then what it comes inside is a, a little clear piece of, piece of plastic thing where you get the left and the right um, pieces that go on the back of the controller and you get a tool that's supposed to help you take off the original back of the Xbox One controller. Now, these tools sometimes work, they sometimes don't. I will tell you that when you're taking off the back of the Xbox One controller um, straps on the back, it's kind of hard to take them off, so you're going to have to apply a little pressure. But don't be scared. You're not going to break them, I promise you. So I usually, a lot of times, just use my fingers and stuff. And what you want to do is you want to start here and just like kind of like pull them off like that. Or, let's get this little tool out. You can use this tool as well. So this tool here, what you do is you take it, you put it in here like this, and you just push out, and it lifts them off. And then you could just put a little pressure on the side. There we go. And then they just pop right off. You see? So you want to do that for both sides. So on this side, obviously, you want to start here by the trigger, move it around. There we go. And it pops right off. Easy peasy. So now you have the two original Xbox One controller backstrops that came on the actual controller. So this is the way the controller looks now without the uh, the things on them at all. And then you have these new ones, which I'm taking out of the plastic right now, which are right here. And then pretty much all you do is you just put them back on the controller. They snap right back into place. And they have the little trigger locks here as well that you can hit. And there's actually, I believe there's two different adjustments on this. Yep, it seems like there's a middle area and a not so middle area. So, we got those. And then really all you do is you just take your controller, you place them on there like so, get them all like, you know, lined up and just press it down until they snap all around. And that's it. That's one side done in just a couple seconds. And now they have a textured, you know, kind of like a rubberized grip. Now I will say that the texturing in this rubberized grip on the back is not as soft as the Xbox One Elite controller, but it's more grippery, if that's even a word. The texture on it is a lot more fine. It's it's gonna give you a better grip. It's not as sleek um, as the Xbox One Elite controller. And then obviously you have your trigger that's normal right now. And then if you hit this little button here, Let's move it all the way in. Then you have the trigger stop that works. So you can see, I don't know if you can see good on the camera, but when you press it down, let me try to get it up close. So when you press it down, hopefully it's in focus. When you press it down, it goes like down like a lot. And then when you engage the trigger stop, so that's the way it is now. When you engage the trigger stop, it doesn't go down as much. It, it, it's, it doesn't go down by about a quarter to a half an inch. So it gives you a little bit faster reaction time from the trigger stops. So it works pretty well. So now we got the right side um, installed and now here's the left one. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna hold the controller with the back towards us obviously, place it, get it all positioned up on the back to where it needs to be. And then you wanna start at the bottom here. You kinda just wanna work your way and press it in until it snaps all the way around. This one don't want to snap. There we go. All right. So now it's all snapped around. I just actually turned on my Xbox with the controller by mistake. So yeah, it's all nice and snapped around now. You can see all the edges are nice and snug and flush on both of them. And then you can just, you know, hold it like this, squeeze it, you know, make sure it's all the way on. And then now on the left hand side, you have the same thing. You know, you have the trigger that goes down all the way now. And then you hit the little button here, move it all the way over, and now the trigger doesn't go down as much. So if you don't know what trigger stops are, I'm not going to make this like an entire educational video about what trigger stops do. Just Google it. I'm sure you, 
you know, will figure it out. Or if you're watching this video, you're probably looking for some trigger stops anyway. But you know what? Even if these things didn't have the trigger stops on them, I still think that for $15, like literally $15 is not that much money. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's awesome they have the trigger stops. But the grip on the back alone is worth it to me. I mean, it really, really is... Um, a very like fine detailed grippy surface man like your hand is not going to come off this thing so i actually kind of rather like the grip on it as well but the trigger stops are the main you know selling point but you get the best of both worlds you know you get the trigger stops and the grips and you can even tell that when you don't have the trigger stops engaged when you press down the uh the triggers you don't hear nothing it's but when you engage the trigger stops you hear the clicking noise that making it stop from hitting the bottom watch so, 15 bucks made by a company named Bionic. I'd never heard of them before until I actually purchased them. But, you know, it's definitely a pretty cheap upgrade for your controller. Especially maybe if you have an old Xbox One controller that miraculously somehow hasn't broken yet. Because, you know, these controllers are notorious for, you know, drifting thumbsticks and broken D-pads and broken bumpers and broken whatevers. I made a video all about that. It's on my channel. Search for it. But if you still have an older Xbox One controller, and maybe the backs, you know, of your controllers are all scratched up or they're broke or whatever, 15 bucks. Put brand new ones on there. That's going to get you some extra nice grip as well as get you some nice trigger stops. So once again, these are made by a company called Bionic. And they're called the Quick Shot. It's a, a custom grip system with two position trigger lock adjustment, trigger adjustments, and rubberized grips for the Xbox One. I unboxed it, I showed you guys how to install it, and um, yeah, I tried these actually before a friend had them. And I was like, you know, these aren't that bad. And when he told me how cheap they were, I was like, you know what, I'm probably gonna get a set of those because it's just worth it, in my opinion. So anyway, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I showed you something new. Now, I'm not sure if they make these for PlayStation 4 or not. Um, I'll search and if I find them for PlayStation 4, I'll throw a link in the description as well and I'll throw a link in the top pinned comment for PlayStation 4 controllers. So anyway, man, if you guys did enjoy this video and it helped you out at all, go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button, share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so, you know, you get notified when I put out stuff or if I live stream. And go back on my channel. I got hundreds of older videos of all kinds of games I play and reviews and all kinds of stuff. Maybe you'll find some entertainment value in my channel as well. And then you subscribe and you love it and I love you. So anyway, man, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up like. So YouTube, this is The Assist Man. And until next time, I am out.